You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 34 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be talking about a relatively disappointing week of WWE programming. Well, you know, we have that high of last week and then... I would say most of it was pretty inconsequential, even though big-ish things happened. We did get a title change. We did. Um... Heavy machinery beat a bunch of jobbers? Well, that that's to be expected. <laughs> now, the, the problem here is the fact that... Well, actually, there's two problems. Mm. A, um, it was impossible to match the what happened last week on Raw. Fair enough. With the return of Roman Reigns and Batista. Because mm. no matter what they did, and they did do something, but it didn't work out as well as they had hoped. Um, actually, they did two things, the second of which was relatively... I didn't really care. Okay. Ta- referring to the the women's. Oh, I, I, fe- I fell asleep right at the end yeah. of the tag title. Yeah, match. I don't I don't think it really landed as well as they had wanted it to, in but my opinion. Since they reshot it on SmackDown, basically, I was yeah. like, ah, oh, all right. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, they they try to get the Shield back together. Mm-hmm. Um, because that's that's how the show opens. Roman asks Seth if or. Yep. Yeah, well, this they, was the story throughout the night, really. Yeah. He teases um, having, because at first he says, there's only one thing I want, and it's, the, does he say it's the universal title? Who owes? Roman. Roman? Yeah. No. Oh, no, that's, yeah, that's, not, I guess he kind of rewarded it he, good he, then. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, that's exactly what every, I bet everyone was thinking, because yeah. I was thinking it too, I was like, great, we're going to get a triple threat now. <laughs> I I didn't think that. What I thought was going to happen is Roman was just going to say that when you beat Brock, I, I won next. First. Yeah, 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 which so, would have been fine. Yeah, which is also probably what's going to happen if Seth yeah. does beat him. Yeah, well, I think the rumors right now is Ambrose versus Reigns at Mania, or that's, that was. Well, yeah, that would make sense yeah. before now. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway... Yeah, Roman says he wants one thing. Well, at first he wishes Rollins good luck, and he says he mm. just wants one thing from him, right. and that's another last hurrah for the Shield. Right, right, right. Um, kind of making reference to the fact that Dean's supposedly yeah, leaving. which is funny because I think it was later on in the evening uh, Renee had hinted at it and said, yeah, he's going to greener pastures, and then Corey was like, this is the WWE. There is no greener pasture. Yeah, which obviously is not true. It's going to impact. <laughs> um, I- no, I mean, he's got a lot of connections there. I don't think, I don't honestly, at this point, it doesn't seem like he's leaving. No, oh, no. The fact yeah. that they referenced it here makes it seem like there's no way Mm. because like there's one it's like one thing to kind of i guess respect a guy that's put in so much time right by saying he will not be returning because a lot of times they'll like sweep it under the rug and oh yeah yeah yeah. they'll quietly release people that they don't want to leave Mm -hmm. or i guess not release or people that they do want to leave when djp got a well but that was that was announced publicly and he was released no this is like a lot of people just quietly go away and they don't want to make this one to be fair a lot of people go away now we just don't see them but they're still (laughs) employed there's there's a difference between (laughs) going away legally and illegally not not talking about killing no (laughs) um no well if like because you know if you're not under contract you don't have any i know i know what you're saying i'm just i know just messing with you anyway so um that that would make sense that he is going to stick around probably just because of the fact that they're talking about it so much yeah yeah granted they did like you said publicly make the announcement beforehand yeah. which is very mm-hmm. strange yes the... it's not like them Mm-mm. so that would either well it's two things either they wanted to put it out there so that like the, Dean could get some fan support and maybe that could change his, his yeah. mind. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure. It or it's completely a work. Nah, and, who knows? Yeah. Um, but yeah, obviously Dean isn't as receptive to the return of the Shield as Seth and Roman are because yep. he feels like the two of them turned on him. Um, and then actually he comes out, but yeah, Elias Dean. like attacks him before mm-hmm. he can say anything with the, the guitar. Yeah. And then yep. Roman, because it, it's funny, because he runs out really quick, hits him with the guitar, and then runs That's away. It's it hilarious. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, it wasn't okay. Roman like you can't do that. Yeah, 
And then Roman so and Seth come over, and they're, like, looking at Dean, and mm-hmm. they're like, oh, what just happened? And yeah, whatever. And we had our favorite six-man tag. The New Shield. This is their go-to match, huh? Uh, or at least some variation of it. Yeah, more or less. It was uh, Balor, Braun, and Angle versus Corbin, Lashley, and McIntyre. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been obvious the last few months that they've been building up uh, Corbin, uh, McIntyre, and Lashley as yeah. kind of like the, yeah. the anti-Shield. Now, who was fighting the Shield when they were last around? It was Oh, Ziggler was, in place of Corbin, yes, right? Yes. Mm. No, Lashley was uh, Ruth. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. McIntyre's right, right. the only one that's, that's right. the yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, Braun... Yeah went back over yeah. that's right mm-hmm. dom so um definitely the highlight of the match was leo rush almost getting killed through oh the, well, yeah because uh, well, braun ran through the ring announcer area yeah that was that was something. on top of him oh yeah that was, like, that oh, was pretty bad um so that put braun out mm-hmm. of commission uh leaving i think balor by himself yeah probably yeah and i think uh lashley spears him mm-hmm. which i guess is his finishing move yeah, now whatever um his uh to be fair his spear does seem I more like impactful spear. yeah because roman kind of just throws himself at people no, where no. like lashley Puts does that and then it. just like falls where roman kind of he like flips yeah and roman kind of just falls so it if it wasn't already roman's finisher i'd probably be behind behind it more but whatever fair point fair um, point so after the match they um, get beat up yeah they all yeah. get beat up but Typical. Braun was already taken yeah. out, so it was Angle but and Balor. since we're going to get those three heels versus the Shield on Sunday, you got to have we them We don't stand. know that yet. Shut up. <laughs> um, they obviously had to make him look good. It's oh, yeah. basically what happened on SmackDown with uh, Mandy mm-hmm. and Naomi. Yeah, that's which, true. Yeah, we'll get to when we yeah. get to. But, uh, but yeah. Speaking of squashes, Go ahead. Natalia and Ruby Riot. She beat uh, her in like two minutes. Yeah, that was uh, dumb. I, Ah, just I don't get it. Nonsensical, not yeah. not needed. Like why why have matches like this? Because these two already feuded, mm-hmm. and then they have the two of them come out, and then Corey Graves or Michael Cole say, "Oh well, there's still unfinished business." I'm like, this ended. What oh. happened with Dana Brooke and Natalia? Oh. They never had a match, did they? I don't think so. Yeah, because they had a couple of backstage segments, and then. I remember that. Mm-mm. I guess there maybe maybe Dana Brooke got stuck in the room with Mojo Raleigh staring at mirrors. Well, a, supposedly at a house show over the weekend, it was like Dana Brooke, Natalia, and Lacey Evans in a match. Okay. Lacey won. Not a surprise. No. Considering that, who the hell knows what they're actually trying to do with her? I mean, I guess they just want to get the crowd used to her, and then but all this of a is sudden, a bad way. I, to I know, do and it. then they're going to thrust her into a match, uh-huh. and then the crowd will be like, "Oh, we know who that is." Yeah, she looks familiar. Yeah, I remember seeing her walk away. Mm-hmm. What did our truth call her last night? <laughs> it's like the sexy southerner or something like that. It wasn't what yeah. they had. No, it definitely wasn't. Yeah, he. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, because she came out when he went to do his uh, U.S. Uh, Open. Right. So, yeah, whatever. Uh, we got a good promo by Triple H. I, I liked what they did here. They, um, They're they really trying hard to make people not like Batista, though. Yeah, no, no I know. And it's not going to work, as no. usual. Well, but- to be fair, the last time Batista came back, supposedly he insisted on being a heel. Mm. But Vince refused. And he said that no, you're gonna you're gonna be a face. You're gonna mm-hmm. be the good guy. You're gonna go into WrestleMania. You're gonna beat Randy Orton. Right. And Batista was adamant. And I think him. yeah, I think CM Punk actually is the one who like talked, talked about, about it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that he thinks that he should be the heel going into the program. Right. Because you know Batista, while being a baby face a lot, he just has the look. Over heel. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. believable. Oh, absolutely. So is Orton. Mm-hmm. So I think Orton versus Batista, it's kind of a gray area. But if you're going to have him like go against anybody else, it's very easy to make him the heel. Oh, yeah, yeah Especially yeah. nowadays when it's so easy to cheer Triple right. H. Right. But, I mean, they went with the simple route of, you know, everything with flair. And oh, yes. Yeah. You know, it made it lucky, lucky that he made it to his 70th birthday, That's basically. True. And yeah. then... How could you, you know? Which makes take it a little from... surprising that they let him drag him across the floor. That was hilarious, but it didn't really. <laughs> He's dead. 
Yeah. And he was all red and everything, so he must have been wooing up a storm beforehand. Oh, he, he was excited to do that. <laughs> you know, he couldn't wait to get Well, to get be in fair, there. I'm sure Batista and Flair are friends, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, um, but yeah, they made it personal, and, mm -hmm. you know, it's good. Yeah, like you said, they're really trying to yeah. get people to. Um, actually, earlier they had said that Batista put a video on Instagram, I yeah, think, saying that he, he hates Philly, Philly so yeah. he's not going. Mm -hmm. And he might not go to Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh right. next week yeah. either. Which I think they have announced that they're going to have a standoff next yeah. week. Yeah. Face-to-face. Yeah. -face Corey Graves says he has mm -hmm. insiders knowing what's going on. That's um, nonsense. The dirt sheets are telling him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, uh, it should be good. I'm excited. Yeah. I mean, this this is part of the problem with them having multiple pay-per-views between the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania is you still have to build those matches for WrestleMania while building other matches yeah, and true. having random crap in there, too, because yeah, that's, that's their thing. Yeah. Uh, I, I'd have to say this is probably the most or the best Triple H match in a while. Mm. Well, there's that's basically because we haven't seen Batista in years. And it's fair. <laughs> <laughs> but it would probably be the best quality because he's not wrestling an old man. And Batista's like 50. So? He's, <laughs> he's in better shape than The Undertaker he's is. He's still an old man, though. Yeah, I guess that's true. A decrepit old man. Is yeah, that there you go. There you go. Is that, is you. that more, mm -hmm. more accurate? This isn't going to be uh, yeah, cause his last Saudi Arabia all over again. It was The Undertaker twice. Uh, at WrestleMania this year, he fought... Who did he fight? Oh, it was a it was, tag match. Yeah, it was Angle Dang and Angle. Ronda. Yeah, why are they just throwing Angle into all these matches where he just looks I, like a jobber, basically? I think he wants to wrestle. Yeah. And that's the only way. Because I don't. I think that he knows, or they know what that his he's, limits. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. past, he's oh, past yeah. um, the main event kind mm -hmm. of deal. Um, and I think he still wants to be involved and wants to you know, put over people. Yeah, I guess when you throw him in six-man tags, it's fine. Yeah, and the fact that it gives a lot of prestige to Lashley, Baron, and... Um, mm -hmm. Beetle Hall of Famer. Da, 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 da. Yeah. yeah. McIntyre. Yes, that's the one. Uh, of course, only one of which has potential. Yeah, but <laughs> it's true. Well, eh. I don't think that they're ever going to get anywhere with Lashley. I know, but they they had the opportunity to do it, and we've talked about it. We've yeah, talked about it's, it. It's coming gun though. Yep, that is true. So basically, he's a stooge. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm I'm honestly surprised that um, Vince isn't like controlling the three of them. Mm. I I would I would think at some point that he might do that. Mm, possible. He'll. Because the Shield will win, mm -hmm. assuming that Dean stays. Yeah. The Shield will win. Seth will have the... the uh, Universal. Yeah, that title. Um, I'm just... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just skipping. <laughs> so he'll have that. Um, and then you Vince... So. And Vince will be like the authority trying to go against the Shield. And he'll have his three guys. And oh, yeah. That's, it's possible. That sounds like... No, it's not good. TV. But we've Let seen it before. You. Oh, I know. And so, you know what they love to do, recycle things. Yeah, so it's definitely <laughs> Even not, if it didn't catch fire the first time. Yeah, definitely not unheard of. Um, and then we had... had the, yeah, Steph surprising that they did it like this, mm. where Stephanie announces that Ronda apparently vacated the title, which she did. Mm. It's fair. That's right. not... That's not, uh, I guess, an unfair assessment of the situation. Right. And then they announced that Becky Lynch... It's not SmackDown. Suspended. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A SmackDown superstar who is no longer suspended, like mm -hmm. you said. And Charlotte Flair, also another Smackdown, SmackDown superstar, yeah. are going to face each other at Fastlane for the vacant Raw uh, women's title. Makes no sense because neither of them have the right to challenge for that title because, A, they're not from SmackDown, and, B, mm -hmm. they didn't earn it. Becky Lynch's spot is at WrestleMania. That's true. So they should have had... Well, this is all types of stupid. Yeah, because it doesn't make sense. Granted, if they had had the match between two people on Raw, then that kind of ruins the story, well, too. Again, there we go. We had an opponent for her at Elimination Chamber, and that was a dud. Yeah, that's true. And then what are they going to do again? Yeah, so... Faceline was completely unnecessary. You did not need to have this well, pay-per-view. Yeah, well, the card kind of shows that. Yeah. So... It's not really that. I mean, granted, years past, that's what they would do as well with that. But generally, it was one pay-per-view between Royal yeah. Rumble and Mania. Mm -hmm. But it would still be, you know, the main event would be like an eight-man tag well, or some crap like that. Well, that and the fact that 
before this year, all the pay per views were co branded. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. No, no, not uh, co yeah, 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 individual. Yeah, mm-hmm. So, like now that everything's co branded, you kind of are screwed because you still have the. I wouldn't be surprised if next year they get rid of Elimination Chamber yeah. in that spot. Mm. Because they in the past there was not two pay per views, there was just the one. But yeah, they yeah, yeah. they probably booked the venue and then last year WrestleMania happens, they mm-hmm. make the decision to make everything yeah, 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 co branded. And now you you know Fair going point. forward you probably won't have the two. Granted I could be wrong, but you've never either been way. wrong before. You're right. <laughs> You are right. <laughs> Stupid. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, we get Dean versus Elias. Yeah. Dean loses again. Had another loss to the column. Mm. What was that three in a row? Right? Lost to McIntyre twice and then yeah. Elias. Yeah. It's true. And he did lose the EC3 once, but he beat him the week after. Who? I know. <laughs> it was so weird. I, that segment in the back backstage. I, I was really not paying attention. So uh, I, I this saw... happened a few times. The... Uh, Colin Jost and Michael Shea, I think that's mm-hmm. what their names are. The, they're, they're like the newscasters from SNL, Yeah, they're right? from, uh, they are. I don't remember what the hell they call the news mm. segment. Yeah, I don't remember either. Um, so they they do that. They're backstage. I guess they're going to be, they, I think they call them correspondents mm-hmm. for WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And they're walking backstage, and they walk past EC3, and he Just makes like he makes a face, right? and then they continue walking towards the camera, but he's in the frame the whole time. He doesn't move Just once. Does not move once. And then I think this is where, like, one of the guys had to go to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. The, other, the other one says, you want me to come with you? Is and that when they had the brawn interaction? Yeah. 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 So ec is in the background the whole time. <laughs> So, and then you have Braun, uh, the guy asking, is, like, wrestling even real? And Braun picks him up by his neck and hangs him, like, a foot and a half off the ground. So, that was pretty good. Like, the the whole SNL thing's kind of dumb because they're kind of shoehorning it in. Yeah. But, but, you know, you got to have stupidity in there. Yeah. It wouldn't be WWE without it. That's fair. Oh, we had Sasha versus Tamina. It wasn't as terrible as... It usually is. Yeah. Well, you know, when you have someone you know is limited, you don't really ask them to do a whole lot. Plus, there's a lot going on in the now, outside. Now, you see, you bring that up. Uh-huh. And it recently came out that uh, Rhonda has had some speech issues throughout her life. She was going through, like, speech therapy and everything like that. Uh-huh. And that's why a lot of the time she has problems on the microphone with getting words out and things like that. Uh-huh. So this is WWE, again, take, not taking an opportunity to put somebody with a manager, a.k.a., you know, I'm just saying somebody who doesn't speak English or something like that, or somebody who has an issue. Okay. You know, Paul Heyman would have been perfect with her or something like that. Okay. It just, I, I'm just, I was trying to figure out where you're getting. I like, just mean it was something stupid. Yeah. It, 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 okay. It, I'm n- like, nonsense. I'm a little confused right now, but yeah. No, yeah, I know eventually. what you mean. Yeah, it's true. Eventually. Um, yeah, that would make sense. Because, but. I mean... Well, they so humanized her so quickly. Yeah, but I think they did the right thing in terms of well, I you guess know, to actually capitalize running on like that. with Becky Lynch. Yeah. Because oh, yeah, she's yeah. the right choice anyway. Mm-hmm. She's the long term. She She's the future of the division, her and Charlotte. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Ronda's not going to be around for much longer. No, and she doesn't need to be. No, there's no reason. This is a nice. She, li- literally, you could have booked her like Brock. You could have. I think she wanted to be around more. Yeah. And it was probably her decision. Mm. I would say after this run, whatever she does, then we could see that possibility. I hope so. Because it's, it's nice having somebody who comes in and has, like, blood feuds mm-hmm. as opposed to title feuds. Right, right. Because Brock's always the damn title, which is very annoying. Because mm-hmm. if he came in, like, him and Heyman come out on a random Raw, like, let's say he drops the title to Seth at WrestleMania. Keep saying these things. No, I'm just I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> next next um like next in July. Mm. Him and Heyman come out. Yes. Him and Heyman come out and then they just start start talking. Um I can't even think of a good opponent for him though. Unless they want to turn McIntyre face. Yeah. Yeah. Because they could do that. Bobby Lashley. No. <laughs> um but yeah, let's say that for argument's sake. They come out, Heyman goes, oh, well, there's so many uh, potential uh, superstars mm-hmm. or, like, breakout stars. And then, like, I'm really disappointed in Drew McIntyre. 
and then that sparks yeah, right, something. Right, right. Yeah, 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 big match at SummerSlam. And when when Brock eventually wins, um, then you can have a rematch at like Survivor Series for no reason yep, other than just, just to have a rematch. rematch. Yeah. And then you have... You well, know, that's that's been the biggest criticism is the title. There was no reason to have it. Yeah. It's not going to be defended, isn't it? Sure. Because I have no problem with Brock Lesnar. I think Brock Lesnar has the ability to put on good matches with mm-hmm. the right opponent. But the fact is that he just is... The mm-hmm. champion, he shouldn't yeah. be. That's it. Yeah, plain and simple. Yeah, uh, we had a tag team title match. We did. Ricochet and Alistair Black versus the Revival. Yes, they beat them last week, so mm-hmm. I guess that gives them a tri- title shot. Which this one was fine. weird. No, it's fair. It's fine. Yeah. yeah, especially considering they just debuted. So the match starts, and shortly in, Gable and Rude come out, mm-hmm. and they just stand on the outside for a little bit, and then eventually, I think uh, Ricochet knocks the two of Dash and Dawson out. And then uh, Gable and Rude just start attacking them. So they get disqualified, so the match gets thrown out. And now apparently there's going to be a triple threat match for the Raw Tag Team titles. That uh, is what I heard as well. Yeah. Um, Which, you know, this is all fine and well, but why do you have Rick Shea and Black on SmackDown as well? Because you could have done an eight-man tag. It's true. This, you know, after this week. Yeah. Um... Well, well, I, I, I think I think I might be right with what I said with uh, DIY mm-hmm. because I don't know, man. What? I don't know. Well, no, just two hundred five be- live. No, no, I'm talking about like because they had had plans to have mm-hmm. the bar versus DIY. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but Champa got hurt, mm-hmm. so year he could be out. The <laughs> neck surgery. Oof. Yeah. So, but yeah, he gets hurt. So they have this plan because they're very stubborn, clearly. That Really? I know. So, okay, we're going to have the NXT call-ups, DIY, mm-hmm. Gargano and Ciampa, mm-hmm. face the bar because they're not in a title match. Um, the New Day's busy, and those are, like, the three teams, the mm-hmm. Usos, the New Day, and the bar. Like, they're the three three tag teams on SmackDown that they actually want to showcase. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can, you're can you going to have a good program between the bar and the smaller DIY. Okay, Trompa gets hurt. So, like, well, we might as well put the NXT call-ups, the right. keyword that they used in the first place. Mm-hmm. Which they still get the NXT entrance every time. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, we'll just take the other NXT guys and have them feud with them. Because mm. I imagine if Ciampa didn't get hurt, uh, Ricochet and Black probably wouldn't have been no, on SmackDown, SmackDown past that first it's, week. That's fair. Um, I so. mean, honestly, or, or it could have been the other way around. Maybe it was supposed to be DIY versus The Revival versus Gable and Rude. No, it's uh, yeah. that's fair. The only reason why I say that is because of the match that Gargano was supposed to have I got you. Cesaro. Sorry, yeah, yeah. That's the only thing. That's fair. Um, but yeah, the that's my opinion. Yeah, I could be wrong. Uh, that's fair enough. Yeah, um, I fell asleep during the main event, so I don't think we. Well, um, after because we made reference to this mm. after Dean loses, um, what was it? Uh, oh yeah, Drew and no, that that's afterwards. Uh, Seth Seth and um Ro- uh, Dean no Seth and Roman come to the ring mm-hmm. and say what do you say right. Um, and then Dean refuses, goes out, goes up, uh, Oh, he was starting to go back into the crowd, right? Yeah. He goes through the crowd. Um, and then Drew, Corbin and McIntyre come out. Yeah. yeah. No, Drew, Corbin and Lashley. (laughs) Yes. I'm sorry. Um, they come out and then they go to the ring, start beating up Roman and Seth. Mm -hmm. Dean looks conflicted, comes to the ring and they start fighting. Yeah. And then he reluctantly agrees to go back into Mm joining the shield. Um, and then later on they announced that they were going to have the six man tag. Yep. Um, then those two matches. And then the main event that was very, not confusing, but head scratching. <laughs> well, it was funny because when I fell asleep during the main event and mm-hmm. I had known earlier on that it was going to be. You just Becky. would have turned it off. No, no, no. That was Becky versus Charlotte at Fastlane. Mm-hmm. And then when I was watching SmackDown last night, it was. If Becky wins, she gets put into the oh, okay. title yes. match at Mania, and I was like, "Wait a second, something's wrong here. Well, I yeah. missed something." Well, I, well, you knew you missed something. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, Stephanie comes out. She says that uh, 
Oh, she wants to have Becky sign a hold harmless agreement. So if she gets hurt, she can't hold the WWE liable, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then <laughs> it's funny. they She signs the agreement. Mm-hmm. Then it cuts to the backstage, and it shows Ronda coming from, like, outside of the arena and, like, looking all angry and stuff. Then they cut to commercial. That sounds about right. Yeah. So uh, come back from commercial. Ronda's in the ring. Uh, she goes, I never relinquished my title. And Stephanie's like, well, you left it in the ring, so that's kind of what we figured. She's like, no, I didn't do that. I was trying to trying to make it clear that I was trying to make a point. Mm. So Stephanie, like, okay, you can have it back now. Here you go. <laughs> Is that really what happened? More or less, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Um, and then uh, she goes, okay, I'm going to change the match on Sunday then. It's going to be Becky and Charlotte. Um, and if Becky wins, she's going to be reinserted into the match. It'll be a triple threat. Mm-hmm. Um, and then for whatever reason, Rhonda starts going on a tirade Mm -hmm. and then she's like, um, she's like, screw, screw the man, screw the woo. Yeah. And some, uh, no more Mrs. Nice bitch or something something like like that. that. Yeah. I remember when they played it on SmackDown and then she attacks, well, she kicks Charlotte, knocks her out of the ring and then she attacks Becky. Charlotte like thinks about going to help Becky, but she changes her mind, Mm -hmm. which obviously makes sense yeah which she then talks about it on smackdown yeah um and i guess this is kind of payback for how becky's been treating ronda on twitter yeah, yeah that's true <laughs> Looks like she got a couple of stiff shots in there from, oh yeah uh uh-huh. thing but hey you know whatever if anything it just makes becky look better yeah exactly <laughs> well and, and that's the thing on smackdown when becky came out she's like you saw that was ronda's was worse and mm-hmm. uh, here i am today i'll i'll tell you what they're really making charlie look bad just because of the way that Becky had literally no problem fending her off mm-hmm. with her bad leg after she got the crap beat yeah, out of her true. on Monday. That's true. Yeah, Charlotte is not going to look good, mm-hmm. especially as she gets pinned by or taps out to Becky at uh, WrestleMania. We'll see. That's uh, that's almost guaranteed what's going to happen. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they had to start building this. Well, I guess not really start building, just do their last minute nonsense for uh, Kevin Owens and Daniel Bryan. Well, yeah, they have a when, title match. When on you Sunday. announced the match two weeks before the paper. Yeah. Routine. You got to just throw some stuff together. And it, he's a returning superstar. So yeah. it's literally out of nowhere. Right, right, right. Which, so. uh, I'll get into all that on our fast lane predictions. Okay. I got some theories. Oh, cool. They check out too. Wow. I checked them out. That's weird. <laughs> I um, don't expect stuff like that. So, you know what I really enjoyed about this? Wow. So you know that they've had all these comparisons with Becky Lynch and Stone Cold and stuff like that. Oh, and, and now then, uh, <laughs> Owens uses the stunner, but he like the moves he used, like when he jumped on, uh, what did he jump on Daniel Bryan, I guess, and started punching him in the face. Like it just felt like Stone Cold. Yeah, because that's what I was really hoping that Becky would add to her move set. It was a little more. I'd, I'd like fighting, to see her you know. do a Stone Cold stunner. Oh, oh, yeah. She did do one at a house show, I think, I'd, to Charlotte. Well, there was there was footage of, uh, I don't remember who it was against or anything like that, but it was it was a heel, and literally every face in the locker room. It was James Ellsworth. Oh, it was? Yep. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know that happened. Yep, and I think Becky so. hit him with a stunner, right? I'm sure he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, she was probably one of them. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's just like an iconic move that's really not that yeah, hard yeah. to do, no. and so it's just. But if Owens, you, I do uh, like the fact yeah. that he uses it though. Mm-hmm. That makes that makes me happy. Definitely happy to see him back. Although I do not at all understand why he's doing it because it's not like where Seth changed his finisher mm-hmm. because they didn't want him doing the stomp anymore, um, so they made him do the pedigree. pedigree yeah, yeah, or because there's like no reason why he can't do the pop up power bomb. Besides the fact that he, I guess he just doesn't want to do it anymore. Yeah. I don't know, man. They're just probably trying things. Maybe. I don't know. Stone Cold was the most popular character. Let's just do whatever he did. Yeah. I you get a little fair. piece. You get a little piece. Yeah. Vince's new Oprah. Giving everybody a little piece. Yep. Um, He's licensing out his likeness. <laughs> exactly. In, in portions. Yep. So this basically built up to the main event, which is going to be Kevin Owens and Eric Rowan. Yes. Very, very compelling. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, you gotta have, you gotta have a match with the, you know, with the crony. I have to give them credit; they didn't make us suffer to an Eric Rowan match, so you know. I guess uh, Eric Rowan's not he's bad. not bad, he's but just, it, the, they're two different styles. the The problem is the fact that he's got Wyatt syndrome, mm-hmm. 
because even Luke Harper has the same problem where you know they were so boring after for such a long time. Yep. So that's basically what I was getting at. Yeah. So it's not it's not Rowan's fault. He's a perfectly acceptable wrestler. Oh yeah, no. I... And he's a pretty good big guy. He's pretty. He moves around. Pretty yeah. Well. Yeah. So definitely. All right. So here mm-hmm. we have the I don't know the most important thing that happened between the two shows, but the least interesting. So our truth comes out. Oh, okay. So you're talking about the Charlotte and no, Becky no, 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 bit no, no, between. No, I was no, like, no. what? So our truth comes out, and he does another U.S. challenge. Mm-hmm. Well, for uh, like right after he announces that, Lacey Evans comes out, does her thing, and then she That's leaves right. again. <laughs> then he says whatever, he, whatever we he mm-hmm. said, um, and then Samoa Joe comes out, and then Mysterio and Almas do the same thing they did last week. Like, oh, can we can we play two, please, please? So they come in, they have a Fatal 4. Before anything is said, as soon as Almas gets to the, the ring, they announce ring. Fatal 4-Way. <laughs> Bing. Um, so I, like, I, oh, I guess it's a Fatal 4-Way. It, I think this was probably my favorite part of SmackDown just because it was fun. It was a good match. Yeah. No, it was, it was a, it's funny because the match was good, um, which is to be expected because mm-hmm. R-Truth's not a bad wrestler by any stretch. He's just he not, better not than convincing. All four of the guys in the ring. Yeah, he's just not convincing. Like, in terms of, like, his character, because yeah. he's so goofy. Like, he's entertaining, but mm-hmm. he's not taken seriously. Um, Ray and Almas obviously do good, and Joe... He was the big man in the match. Yeah, so. I was going to say, while being the uh, perennial loser, um, he's, you know, he's still a force. So, yeah. uh, well, what was it? Uh, Ray hit a 619 mm-hmm. on Almas, and then Joe just throws him out of the ring? I think so, yeah. And then Joe... Like- Joe Puts him in the cocaine clutch, or did he pin him? I don't remember. No, he hit the urinagi. Oh, yeah, that's right. He hits the urinagi. That's <laughs> you what it wrote was. it. I know I wrote it, but I always assume. Oh, there was that spot where Ray did his dive and splash outside the oh, ring. Yeah. It's so Archer's weird. Right balls. It's so weird. Because he, like, bounces, and then he, like, dives out of mm-hmm. the ring. Um, yeah, so Samoa Joe is the new U.S. champion. Yeah. Is- um. <laughs> so the whole reason, and I don't know, well, I'm assuming, I think I know who it is. The whole reason why they gave him this championship is just so he can lose it to Mustafa Ali. That's the funny part. There's <laughs> they no never reason... finished that out, did they? No. But that doesn't mean anything. I know. And he did make an appearance. Especially, no, we're going to, yeah, well, yeah. It's really not um, that much of a spoiler. He honestly, didn't do anything. <clears throat> what, and I, somebody had pitched this online, was uh-huh. you have R-Truth keep winning these matches. Like, he almost won again by oh, yeah. rolling Ray up. Yeah, I, I would have And then you it. have an open challenge at WrestleMania, and he has it's to John Cena. Cena. That's yes. great. That's fantastic. <laughs> that would have been the smartest thing he's talking thing about his... I, his uh, <laughs> yeah. That's a <laughs> great Boy, idea. Idol. Yeah. he ruined it. <laughs> oh, well, he could win it we'll back. Win it back yeah. yeah. There's no reason why he can't. And then, I guess, somewhat after this, they announced that it'll be Amis and... Uh, oh, no, Andrade. Versus Rey Mysterio at Fastlane. On the pre-show. On the pre-show. No Cruiserweight match. Um, no, because they're doing that tournament, right? I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. Sounds right. Yeah. Uh, then we saw the New Day. They, they were did in the India, same thing right? last year. Yeah. Mm. Uh, then we saw Black and Ricochet face <laughs> the bar. Yeah. Yep, yep. Um, they went over, the good guys. Not a surprise. No. Then they got attacked from behind by Shinsuke and Rusev, mm-hmm. which is a little continuity from last week. So, well, obviously, thumbs up there. <laughs> and then the uh, the, the old... little the little it takes. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's, it's those little things though. They do go a long way. I guess so. But I mean, again, then it's just written off because they're in the title picture on Raw. So. Yeah, we can't we can't yeah. continue this. And we can't the Hardys... have two matches at once. Right. And then the Hardys come out. But it's it's funny though. You've kind of. The New Day doesn't have to be doing anything. The Usos are already in another feud, and you still have three big tag teams. And the Raw has Heavy Machinery, The Ascension, the B Ryder, team. and uh, Hawkins, and the B Team. <laughs> it's scary. It's, like, so lopsided. It's unbelievable. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Um, Does not make sense. Nope. All right, so up next we have Mandy Rose versus Naomi. Yeah, I'm guessing you heard what had happened at a house show Monday? No. Um, there was a match between Mandy Rose and Oscar, and I guess Oscar got oh, dropped oh, on yes, her head. That I but I hear, think yeah. it was more or less that Oscar wasn't supposed to tuck her head, and yeah. she ended up doing that. Yeah, so I, it seemed yeah, like it was completely that. accidental. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, Naomi uh, got squashed here, yeah. which 
again, in theory, is the right decision considering yeah. Mandy's challenging for the title yeah. at Fastlane. It Lane. wasn't a true squash because Sonya like Deville. Forty got, seconds. I know, but Sonya Deville did kind of distract her. Eh. So it's not like uh, she came in, hit her with one move, and pinned her. So, um, but yeah, it was uh, it was more or less a squash it match. Was more or less a squash. Um, Thank you. So, and then Sonya and Mandy go to the top of the ramp. Mm-hmm. They're looking at the ring, and then Asuka comes up from behind and attacks the two of them. Yep. I didn't quite understand this part. What? Why? Yeah. Because, oh. you know, Asuka doesn't need to do anything. Mm-mm. So, like, it's fine. It did not make sense. It's just, it, well, it really didn't they add just to the story. Saying that she was okay after I guess attacks. maybe I don't know. know it's not like they announced it no but it's the internet now everybody knows everybody it's knows everything that's true whether it's wrong or right they know everything yeah that's, that's a fair yeah. point um and then man AJ and Randy Orton they've had the toughest schedule the last two weeks just show up actually all right so this was the dark match for the evening oh, it was okay. AJ right. versus Randy Orton oh. and this was after 205 live happened I think they tape it afterward now or is it before is it live I th- again I thought that 205 live was taped before Smackdown is now. it still on Wednesday or they move it back to I thought they it's moved it back Wednesday. to Tuesday night now because the mix match challenge is gone oh I thought it was on Wednesday all right well regardless so apparently I saw pictures of it there was n- very few people in the audience maybe uh-huh. like the fourth or fifth row back was mm-hmm. filled and apparently Orton said the fuck's the crowd? <laughs> or where did everybody go? Yeah. It was just so funny. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. That, it certainly would make sense that it happened after 205 Live if that's all the people. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, did you see that video of him online twerking and stuff? <laughs> no. Yep. I did not. Yep. So yeah, this is <laughs> probably just building to their match at WrestleMania eventually. Oh, obviously. Yeah. Which is fine because I, yeah, I think whatever. that works. Well, why have... Two people that really don't have any reason to be fighting Mm -hmm. on TV having matches to build up a match. Mm -hmm. They're not aligned with anybody. Nope. Uh, You could even do a number one contenders match with this or something like that. Granted, I don't really want to see AJ in a uh, Mm -hmm. title match again. Uh, Not soon. Yeah. Not yet, at the very least. So. Uh, But yeah, that would make sense. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't put it past them. Um, Owens versus Rowan. Yes. This was quick. Yeah. Well, Daniel Bryan was on commentary. Yeah. He was making I, fun of Kevin Owens. Yep. Kevin Owens attacks him. Yep. Daniel Bryan attacks him back. Yep. DQ. Yep. Teals are beating up Kevin Owens. Out comes Mustafa Ali. Surprisingly. Yeah. Like, I guess, you know, I guess it's good that he's cleared, but I don't know why he would defend Kevin Owens. He's the de facto baby face. I guess so. It would have made Somebody's more sense. Somebody's in trouble. If, Mustafa Ali makes sense. To it would have made more sense if Kofi was around and have him. He was do in it. India. I know he wasn't there. I'm just saying. You that. saw the video earlier in the night. Yes, I know. I mean, that wouldn't be the first time that we've seen somebody off. It's true. They had, what was it, uh, John Cena do like an award show mm-hmm. and then show up on Raw the same night. Yeah. That's true. So. Um, and then we have the main event, Charlotte and Becky's friendly Again. chat. They're really hammering this into the ground, aren't yeah, yeah. they? Yeah. So they're trying to make Becky look as sympathetic I mean, as possible. I, I, I get it, but, you know, I, I don't know if you feel the same way, but sometimes I like the less is more route. I, I said this a month ago. Yeah, that's over what, that was your worry. Was yeah, the, yeah overexposure. Over exposure, absolutely. To be fair, yeah, there was nothing bad about what they did. No, no, no. The problem is this is going to happen mm-hmm. every week for the next month. Yeah. So uh, we're, we're not quite at the the point mm-hmm. of uh, I, I did diminishing like returns, the, but we're getting close. The little thing they did in both Raw and SmackDown where um, Ronda had Becky in the arm bar mm-hmm. and she didn't tap. No. And Becky had Charlotte in the arm bar on SmackDown and she didn't tap either. Oh, yeah. So well, it, it was just little, little they, things. They're that, trying to make everyone look good without making anyone Problem look is, bad. Problem is, I mean, you've already, you can tell that Becky's response is not quite what it was when she comes out. Oh, you mean just, eh. The crowd reaction. Eh, it was definitely less. I, I guess, but I don't really think that that's going to be a negative. No, I no, no, but that's just to show or further prove that they're overexposing yeah. the whole angle. No, yeah, that's, that's, that's true. That's all I, I mean, on, right, At WrestleMania, yeah. when she wins that title, oh, it's going to yeah, be yeah, big. Yeah. So... That part I'm not mm-hmm. that concerned about. No, it was, no, like I said, it was just furthering your point. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Too much. Mm-hmm. Too much. Yep. They should have kept her off TV until Fastlane. 
They should have had a match for with Ronda. Um, I don't know what they would have done. Because they could have had, like, uh, Ronda... Have, like, a tag match that is kind of throwaway. Mm. Have Charlotte and somebody against Ronda and somebody. And then have Becky come out and just it. beat the crap out of both of them. Yeah. And that starts know. what ha- what they started a month ago. Yeah. Uh, they, they really screwed the pooch on this one. Yeah. That's it's really it's it. it's still gonna be a big match at WrestleMania. Oh yeah, yeah no it's doubt still about gonna it. Be probably the main event mm-hmm. and all that good stuff. Yeah. But but it's not gonna tune the viewers in every no. week. For no, it. it's it it's because... too much. Mm-hmm. So, but whatever. Yeah, it is what it is. I think we uh, pretty much covered it all, huh? Uh, I think so. Yeah. All right, so uh, we will be back next time for our Fast Lane preview and predictions video. Yes, if you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.